a clacking noise when you accelerate and corner at the same time like this the nuts are you need a new CV joint and axle because it's probably broken so we jack it up to find out and when we crawl under and look inside the tire there it is the CV boot is ripped the grease has come out and now the joints worn out now in the olden days we used to take it apart put a new CV joint on but with these brand new axles that are made overseas it's cheaper just buying the whole assembly than it is trying to fix it and really then you get both CV ends all new boots and new axles so it should last a long time so we'll take the wheel off then take the nut off that holds it in place now being a mechanic I got an air gun and an impact wrench if you don't have that you can use one of these long cheater bars and pull on that to get it off while someone else sits in the car with their foot jammed on the brake to keep the wheel from turning that works good too then we take the nut loosen it off the tie rod arm and here's a trick then you just screw it on a little way to get a big hammer and hit the bottom to pop it out of place as you can see now it comes out of the way then we take the bolts that hold the strut into the hub off and then the whole hub slides off the axle there it is and now comes the fun part the other end of the axles snaps into the transmission we have to pry this off with some type of pry bar so here I am with a little pry bar and a hammer I'm going to try to tap it out well here it goes Drop. Come on. and don't be like me and forget to put a drain pan under there to catch the fluid that drips out of the transmission I didn't make too much of a mess just remember to put the pan there before you pop the axle out some cars will drip fluid when you pull them out some won't so always stick a pan under there first so if it does drip you'll be able to catch all the fluid to put it back in and before you put the new axle in here's a trick I learned years ago you get some thick grease and then put it around the end of the axle that goes into the transmission because it's got a little pin in here that snaps in place and if you put the grease in it'll stay here if you don't it might flop down and then jam in and you'll never get it to snap in right I've had that happen and it's no fun then you slide the axle under the transmission and you hold it up and tap it with a hammer to snap it in place and then the end slips into the hole and slides into the hub then you put the nuts and bolts back on and hold the strut to the assembly you put them on nice and tight put the tie rod back in on and get a new cotter pin and stick that in the hole that fits through and bend it back so it doesn't fall off and get the axle nut on nice and tight and stick a new cotter pin in there too and bend it back over so it doesn't fall out put the tire back on and the lug nuts then of course take out the transmission dipstick and put fluid back in that leaked out so the next time one of your CV axles breaks and starts clacking why not fix it yourself and remember if you've got any car questions just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel